what to do to keep your body healthy, but what about your brain? Here with some advice, please welcome Dr. Elaine Chin and naturopathic Dr. Elizabeth Goldstein. A lot of both of you. Thanks for joining us on this very important topic, and there's so much information out there when it comes to brain health. Uh, let's start with talking about lifestyle. There's certain things we can be doing for our brain to keep us sharp, aren't mm -hmm. there? Yes, uh, what we do know is that we know what we're doing for your, our heart, but what many people don't realize is that what's good for your heart is also good for your brain. So we certainly know that we need to eat properly, and Elizabeth will talk about that, so that we keep our cholesterols and blood sugars down, that keeps inflammation abate, yeah. but also exercise. Uh, we know that it helps lower blood pressure, it also helps our brain. But importantly, just like our computer, we go buy more RAM for more memory. Yes. If we exercise, we can improve the brain cells in this area called the hippocampus. Mm. It'll improve our memory uh, capacity. So we need to exercise. Okay, so exercising, that's compelling, right? <laughs> now we'll go and maybe uh, and, and have a sweat. Um, let's, let's go to Elizabeth now. So I've heard a lot about omega-3 okay. fatty acids helping with brain health. How important are they? Um, how much do we need them? So omega-3 fatty acids are essential, meaning that our bodies can't produce them on their own. We need to get them from food sources. And the reason why we need them is because they actually help reduce the incidence of the leading cause of almost all diseases. Anyone know what that is? Inflammation. Inflammation. Yeah. So you, we hear a lot about inflammation. Now, acute inflammation is great. You get that in response to injury or infection, and it's useful for your body's healing process. But chronic inflammation, not so much. That extends past the time when it's helpful for your body's healing processes, and it's exacerbated by poor diet, poor lifestyle habits that cause the chronic inflammation to perpetuate. So any itises, arthritis, mm -hmm. that's inflammation of the joints, colitis, inflammation of your gut, all of those are um, can be helped by omega-3 fatty acid supplementation. So there's two things in the diet that contain omega-3 fatty acids. One are marine-based things like fish, fish oil, marine oils if you're a vegetarian, and the other one is plant-based foods. So flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, all of these are great sources of plant oils. That said, there's a caveat. So these plant-based omega-3s only convert into the active anti-inflammatory parts, which are called EPA and DHA, mm -hmm. at about 10% efficiency. Mm. So they're great for a ton of other reasons, but it's actually the marine-based omega-3s that have this more adequate conversion into the EPA and DHA compounds. So you want fish? Yes. That's what you're saying? Fish, or if you're vegetarian, marine oils that come from marine algae. Marine oils. Yeah. Um, how much do you need? I'm always asking you this, and you're always telling me the same thing. What's the answer? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we figure out? How do we figure out how much you need, like, in a supplement if you're taking a fish oil pill? Like, do you just take the recommended daily amount? Well, what I, do I you think, think? What, what we need to do is, uh, ideally, yeah. we can measure it. But it's interesting when we ask people, so how, how, do you eat fish? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. And for people, that may mean once a month. It may mean once a week. We suggest two to three times a week is probably about enough. And we always talk about orange color fish has yes. more omega fatty acids. So salmon, yes. rainbow trout, arctic char. So forget all the white stuff. Okay. And, and what about um, people saying, well, what about mercury and other things in my fish that are going to make me want to eat it less? What do you do? What salmon are we looking for or what rainbow trout? Yeah, so we talk about small fish. So generally, big fish like the tunas, the sharks, the, the bigger fish have more mercury. Mm -hmm. But I think we're pretty good with these little rainbow trouts. And, okay, yeah. so we can have that three times a yeah. week. Yeah. And then we're so, going to get those omega those omega threes. Um, if we're not getting enough, let's talk a little bit about um, supplements. So mm -hmm. what supplements should you add to that if you're not getting enough of the fish, the if, orange fish? Yeah, if you're not getting enough fish or some people just don't like fish, yeah. then the, the fish oils or the algae oils are a good alternative. Just make sure that you're getting enough EPA and DHA, those are the two active components, yeah. at at least one gram a day. That would one be the dosage day. for supplementation. Okay. I want to talk about something that I found so interesting in your mm -hmm. notes, and that's just how omega-3s in fish oil impacts concussions. Yes. This is a huge conversation right now happening in the NFL. Huge concern for parents who have kids playing any kind of contact sports. Mm -hmm. How might omega-3s help in these situations? Yeah. They're, they're, as you know, they're potent anti-inflammatory, um, but they're also potent antioxidants. So when you have injuries, you have oxidation going on. So the bottom line here is 
if your kids are not willing to eat fish because you don't eat fish, mm -hmm. then you need to supplement them with omega fatty acids. It can't hurt. It's just oils. It's good oils. Um, it's also helpful not only for concussions, but post-traumatic brain injuries. Mm -hmm. And for people with migraines, we see a lot of that. When people have migraines, um, then you can see that when they take more high doses of omegas, the incidence and the frequency of migraines reduces. So those omega-3s will help recovery, brain recovery, in the instance of a concussion. Yes. Okay, so we should be flushing those, yes. like giving a lot of those to our kids, because that's really, really important. Um, we've just scraped the surface. There's so much more, so we'll have to have a part two at some point, okay. all right? Thank you so much for joining us.